Hi, Hiram here. Here's another video in the series of tests that I'm doing on this Ollie Camp XTS pot. It's the type of pot with the fins on the bottom. I've done a couple of tests so far, one with the Trangia, well two actually with the Trangia burner, uh, one with the Super Venom stove, and now another request that I had was with a cartridge stove, which is what I really think this pot is made for. Now unfortunately my camera isn't back far enough so I can see the whole, th you can see the whole thing, but sorry. So what I have here is, this is the, uh, I guess you call it a cartridge burner that I've been using called Northern Lights, a little on the heavy side. The burner by itself is 192.9 grams or 6.8 ounces. The cartridge has been used, but I'm pretty sure there's enough in this yet for the test. But even as it sets right here, it's 214.7 grams or 7.58 ounces. So, and like I said, it's called Northern Lights. Uh, let me get my water prepped, and I'll be right back to start this test. All right, I got everything all set up here. Let's light this. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna kind of hard to regulate to make this, so I'm just gonna do a size. Here I have two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. I hope you can see this. One thing I hadn't counted on was, I hope you can hear me, but one thing I hadn't counted on was the this flame pattern of this burner is so wide that it's hitting out on the outside edge. The uh, cover that's there, it's not actually going up in the middle and out through the fins. You can see that the pot stand part is getting red hot now, but the flames aren't going up through the middle. Let me try turning this down a little. See, I guess like that, if I turn it way down, it's kind of hitting the middle. So far it's been going for two minutes and it's up to 158 degrees, so even with that, it's still running fairly hot. So let's see where this goes. I'm going to turn it back up. We're at 210, 211, 212 in 3 minutes 47 seconds. 3 minutes 47 seconds. Let me take this off. And let me put that out. Okay, so that was two cups of water. Sorry, that was two cups of water. Setting at six, starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in three minutes and 47 seconds. With the Trangia Mini on the Mojo stand, that was uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in five minutes and 40 seconds. So this was two minutes down from that. The uh, Super Venom stove, forget it, that ran out of fuel. Wasn't a good stove for this kind of a pot. And the Trangia with the Open Spirit, that's this one. This is more of a, uh, a stand maybe for car camping or cabin camping or something. And that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees and 5 minutes 49. Pretty, no, pretty near the same uh, boil time as the Trangia on the Mojo stand. So you can see this is faster, but not, not as fast as I thought it would be. Hopefully you could hear me on second camera, but this flame pattern, when it was not even up halfway to full blast, came out so wide that it was hitting the cover that's on the bottom of the fins on the Ollie Camp. Now on the jet boil, it's a little bit different. It has this cover out here which goes onto the stand, but the fins themselves are all exposed. On that one, there's a plate running around the whole flat of the fins and covering it. 
so the flames weren't going up in and out through the fins it was just hitting the cover of the fins and not doing as much as what I thought it would I think for all the noise and everything in the weight I'll stick with the Trangia on the Mojo so unless there's some more requests oh there was one more request uh, I had had several people ask me I said that this might be a good uh, stove to put underneath there. This is the brass light, the uh, 2D, I think. I may be wrong. I forget anymore, but maybe if there's interest, I'll try this one. But um, about the only thing that I use this for is for car camping or if we go up to the cabin somewhere. So again, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 3 minutes and 47 seconds at about half power. Any more power and it would have been just totally wasting gas. When this cools off, I'll see if I can get a weight on the canister and see how much propane was actually used. Uh, if I can get a weight, I'll put the information down here. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Let me know what you think of these type of stoves. Did I say thank you for watching? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sorry, getting warm in here. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.